In the middle of the heat and noise, Wu Zhendong turns what is trash into tools. The materials we use are mostly the spent artillery shells from the past. In the past, Kinmen Island was a battleground, and resources were scarce for residents. Growing up, Wu says artillery shells fired back and forth between China and Taiwan were a part of everyday life here. Sometimes you'll find artillery shells when walking out in the fields. Sometimes when digging at a construction site, they'll dig up shells. These are the remnants of the Chinese Civil War. Since 1949, the KMT military came to Kinmen. This also became the base for the KMT military to retake mainland China. 1949 was also the year Mao Zedong established the communist-ruled People's Republic of China. The defeated Kuomintang, or KMT government, retreated to Taiwan and called it the Republic of China. Since then, in KMT-ruled Kinmen, on and off conflict continued with artillery fire until the 1970s. That included a month and a half of shelling that started on August 23, 1958. Hundreds of thousands of shells hit Kinmen. When that ended, the communists and KMT agreed to shell each other on alternate days. With an ample supply of raw material, these shells take on a new life in Wu's hands. We are making something useful out of waste, making household tools and knives. Here at Maestro Wu's, it takes about 30 minutes to make one knife, and you can make about 60 knives out of one mortar shell. Wu has been making knives for 50 years. In that time, he has seen China change. It's most obvious at night. Going back and forth in these 30 years, China keeps improving. When we go there compared to going to Taipei, it's hard to tell that it's a communist country. Their cities, architecture, is completely different from the way we used to imagine how China would be. Many Kinmen residents hope as China progresses, there would be more common ground between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait, even as the ideologies of communist China and democratically ruled Taiwan differ. We only hope both sides of the strait can use a gentle and a peaceful approach toward each other, instead of one of opposition. The scars of battles are still visible in Kinmen. Even as Kinmen residents hope for peace, if the island becomes a battlefield again? We're used to it. If we were afraid, we would have all fled to Taiwan during the August 23 artillery shelling. For his part, Wu hopes by transforming what was something destructive into knives, he can cut off Kinmen's violent past as he hopes for enduring peace for Kinmen. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Kinmen, Taiwan.